This is a bone-in Boston butt. This is what we normally cook in our restaurants. We usually cook at a, between 225 and 240 for anywhere from eight to 12 hours. Um, every shoulder is completely different. We usually like to cook until it gets up above 192, 193 degrees. You don't necessarily have to have a commercial pit or a huge grill to be able to cook. Uh, that's one great thing about a Boston butt is it's small, it's not an expensive cut of meat. You usually will get an eight or a nine pounder and you know it's, it's usually pretty simple for the at home barbecue cook. Pull it off the bone and then we put a light chop on it. You'll see a lot of places they, they chop it up really fine. We want it to be very meaty. Uh, we want to chop it up and then we'll sauce it after we get it good and chopped. You can add extra red pepper now. You don't want to cook with the red pepper on it because it, the longer it cooks, the hotter it will get. So it'll be very overpowering. So you can add your heat with a little bit of hot sauce or add a little bit of red pepper flake or a little bit of cayenne. So it is a, it's a pretty simple process. It just takes a very long time. You know, you can't, you can't rush this. Um, the best thing you can do is get a good digital read thermometer and start watching it. When everything starts falling apart, that's when it's done. Um, we sometimes will rest our pork, but, but shoulders don't always have to be rested. You know, other cuts of pork, it's better to let them rest for a few minutes, but with shoulders, we pull them directly off the pit and start chopping. Turn it off, chop it up, and then sauce it. Um, this is our vinegar-based sauce. That's what we choose to use on our on our pork shoulders, and you're ready to eat.